What's going on traders? It's Ricky with Tech but Solutions. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys on how to download this TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform, how to use it, kind of simple things about adding stocks to your watch list, you know, setting alerts, using different indicators and adding those studies and, and kind of how to maneuver your way around this different platform. It's it's a highly requested video and I want to thank the member within our Tech but Solutions uh, group chat that direct messaged me that suggested this video. So if any of you guys ever want to see any of your videos um, actually on our YouTube channel, please just direct message me your recommendation and I'd be more than happy to actually make a video that best fits your needs because I'm sure a lot of members that we have within our platform can actually you know, benefit from something that you might need you know, a little bit more elaborating on. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you guys do, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Again, if you guys want to be a part of TechBit Solutions, the link is provided for you down in the description and we'd love to be a part of your success. We're sitting a little bit over 22,000 members now worldwide and the thing that we do best is we provide a supportive community community for both new and experienced members. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you. Alrighty guys, we are here. So one of the first things that I want to start off by saying is, you know, how do you even download this Thinkorswim platform, right? So you're going to go to Google and I'm going to provide you with the link down below, but you simply search Thinkorswim download um, and then you click on the second option right here uh, and then you click download. When you click download, it's actually going to just have you authenticate yourself and put in your username and your password. Once you go ahead and do that, it will allow you to download this Thinkorswim platform for free. For those that don't have TD Ameritrade already, just open an account. Uh, you only need a social security number and it is a 100% free account. Um, you don't have to fund it whatsoever to even use it. Um, and it's a very useful platform and we'll get a little bit into that in just a bit. For those that are getting into pe trading penny stocks but don't actually have the money nor want to risk anything yet, um, they do have an amazing uh, TD Ameritrade paper trading platform you simply click open account on this top right hand corner and then they can get you started with that so it's like real time stocks you're trading with their own money uh, but it's you know for you no real monetary risk so I hope you guys understand that again the link will be provided for you down below so you guys can download this TD Ameritrade uh, think or swim platform now how is it that you use it what we're gonna go over is how do you add stocks to your watch list how do you use or add different indicators and how do you set alerts so I hope you guys understand that and let's get to it so the first thing is how do you add stocks to your watch list so regardless of whatever stock it is that you want to add you know you simply go to charts right um, since you usually have this so you go to charts right here uh, you search up whatever it is that you want to do let's say it's a um, let's say it's Tesla Okay, let's say I want to add Tesla for whatever reason that I don't already have in my watch list, which I do. Just wanted to make sure um, I clear that up, um, as you guys can see right over here. Um, but let's go ahead and say that I want to add it to my watch list. You go over here on this top right-hand corner. You click um, Add Tesla to my watch list, and then I can add it to my uh, default watch list, which is the watch list that I'm currently using, as there's multiple watch lists that you guys can have at the same time. Um, so that is simply how you add a stock to your watch list. Um, now, how is it that I have these different indicators, you know, pulled up? So usually some people uh, might just have um, this chart and no RSI indicator or anything like that um, and the way that I have these like certain studies up um, and different indicators is you click on level 2 um, and it will populate level 2 so you can see where people are buying and selling which is very useful um, and also another thing that's RSI indicator meaning that when it's over you know bought or oversold the way that you do that is you click on edit studies uh, you search whatever it is uh, the indicator that you want to add. So I have displayed EMA and RSI, and you can simply move them around. So displayed EMA, I have it overlapped on my price, and low on the lower uh, quartile for this, um, I have RSI, um, and I simply just go there. Um, and what I mean by EMA, it's actually overlapped on these candlesticks. So if you see this little line, um, it's just following these candlesticks. So that's how I like that to be set up. And then I like my uh, RSI right here to indicate if it's a, um, you know oversold um, or overbought. And then I have the, what's it called, um, the level two quotes that I can actually give me a better understanding of where people are buying and selling. So this is how I like to have my setup. Um, and then I know I have a different style than maybe some of you. Um, and some of you might not even have, you know, this this gap. Some of you might even just um, only have access to wherever it is the stock is right now. Um, and I really didn't like that. So what I did was I went to settings. Um, I changed first of all the arrow. So if I, let's say you set an alert. Uh, that's something that we want to talk about. You simply right click, you click on create alerts, and then let's say I want to do it when it goes like, you know, below 350. Uh, let's say when it goes above uh, 354. So all you have to do is you click create. 
um, and then it puts a little arrow right here um, where your alert's at. Usually um, with the default settings, it won't do that. Usually it's it shows the alert, but it just looked to me like there was too much going on and I didn't like that setup. So what I did was I clicked on show arrow just because I want to make sure that I know where my alert's at, but I don't want it to take up you know the whole graph. So simply by doing that, um, all it does is it puts an arrow on the right hand side um, and it makes it very easy for me to focus on the important stuff. Um, now, Another thing that I did was to build this gap that I have right here that a lot of you might not have. All of you guys might be like really close to just seeing this data and not have enough distance here. I like to see when aftermarket hours are about to happen. Um, and again, this is just my preference. I went here. I went to time access um, and I clicked expansion area and I just put 326 and that was that, that simple. Um, Oh, also, another thing that I want to tell you, talk to you guys about is you guys can actually customize the you know time the timestamps that you guys um, can have set up. So you pretty much click customize, and then you can add time frames, or you can actually edit these time frames uh, into one minute, um, one day candlesticks, one one day five minute candlesticks, two days, ten minutes, whatever it is that you want to set up. You actually just you know adjust everything right here. Um, and again, that was accessed simply by going on the actual one minute chart and then customizing this. Um, now, one of the last things that I want to talk about, we talked about the watch list, how to add stocks to your watch list. We talked about um, setting alerts and going over certain indicators. Um, now, it pretty much just comes down to the preference on how it is that I like it to be set up. Um, and some of these uh, candlesticks are filled green. And again, that is just my preference. You go here um, and you go to appearance and I clicked filled candlestick. It usually comes like this as default. I clicked filled. Um, and you guys could change this if you guys want to. I mean, you guys can mess around with it. Um, and you guys could also just always go back to resell to chart default. Uh, I clicked OK, and that is it. Now, another big question that I get very often is how do I overlap my volume on my actual top chart? Um, again, you go to settings and you click overlap volume. And that is pretty much it, guys. We talked about the edit studies, how to add stocks to your watch list, how to set alerts. Um, and other than that, I really don't know what it is that, you know, you guys would want me to go over when it comes down to kind of just the basics of using this TD Ameritrade ThinkOrSwim platform. So again, I hope you guys found this useful. If you guys did, please go ahead and you know give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for any future videos, please again direct message me within the TechFood Solutions group chat, and I'd be more than happy to make a video that best fits your needs. Because I'm sure if it's something that you want to be explained, we have a couple hundred, if not thousand, members within our group that might enjoy that video as well. So again, just feel free to reach out to me, um, and you know I'd be more than happy to make the video for you guys uh, again the link is provided for you down below so you guys can join the Facebook platform um, and then once you get accepted you guys will have access to the tech but solutions group chat platform um, and if you guys can subscribe you know we would greatly appreciate go ahead and be sure to watch our helpful videos which go over frequently asked questions um, within our you know just networking environment uh, but other than that you guys are all set to go I hope you guys and wish you guys the best like always let's make sure that we end the year on a green note take care guys